and we were all part of Five Theatre Company. Um, we were a group of five young, like-minded, new theatre practitioners who wished to explore controversy within social and political topics. We aimed to evoke opinions from within by combining naturalistic pieces with absurd theatre. And we wish to adopt and experiment with a range of mediums, and we want to create diverse and challenging performances that question the society in which we live. Uh, today we're going to talk about a massively important theatre practitioner called Augusto Boal. Now, when we were thinking about people to research and talk about to you uh, today in this lecture, we went through quite a few people who probably relate more to what we as a theatre company want to achieve, but none of them really grasped our interest as much as Boal. Um, although not the most relatable practitioner to the work we produce, aspects of his work, such as his ethic to portray, and attempt to solve political issues, and that was I'm going into more detail about, but um, and it'll help to try and uh, help you understand how and why his work is so effective and revolutionary in the theatre world. It will talk about and dissect parts from um, his practice, which is best known as theatre of the um, press. Um, we will then round off the lecture using a key part of his theatre form, foreign theatre, and um, through this activity, act <laughs> activity, learn how this style works practically and whether it is still relevant and effective in today as the modern society. Thank you. Um, Augusto Boal was a director, writer and politician from Rio de Janeiro who lived from 1931 to 2009. When Boal published his first book, Theatre of the Oppressed, it drew the attention of military dictatorship leading to him being kidnapped, tortured, arrested and exiled to Argentina <coughs> before being very approached to theatre. Boal created the Theatre of the Oppressed in 1971 it focuses on making the audience an extension of the cast and giving them the choice to step on stage and join in with the performance. <coughs> but while use this technique to express his political views and encourage the audience to do the same thing. As the Brazilian military party was a dictatorship, this is what led to his exile. Whilst he was in exile, it was too dangerous for Boal to continue practicing theatre of the oppressed, so he created invisible theatre. This was the idea that a performance would be performed without anyone actually knowing what was taking place. So he would have a political argument in public, like in the street, and encourage passers-by to join in. So theatre of the oppressed was taking place, but no one knew that it, that was actually happening. This was just one of the many ideals that make up theatre of the oppressed. And here is an interview well, with Bo Alves. The same uh, idea, the, uh, the same idea that prevailed from before. It started changing with Lula when he was elected. And then it really changed. Now Brazil is no longer what it was uh, 10 years ago. What did not change yet, and that I regret, but I don't know why, it not, is the agrarian reform. Uh, the land is still in the hands of those people who robbed the land because they did not really uh, buy nothing. It's uh, false, uh, their documents. Talk are, about uh, the MST, the Landless People's Movement in Brazil. Uh, yes, I worked before with the uh, Peasants League uh, it, uh, in 1960 until 64. Uh, uh, what they had wrong, it was that they had one person, Francisco Julian, who was uh, the boss, let's say, so of the Peasants League. He was the leader, and he decided many things. Sometimes one group does things that the central direction, which is really democratic, because there are many people there from many parts of Brazil, they would not approve. But they did it. They said, "Don't do that." They discussed. So they are democratic. They never invade lands. They occupy lands. They are lands that are not productive. How many? Are uh, okay. So Augusto Bell was obviously influenced by the idea of theatre of the oppressed, and he realised that his uh, social uh, background and made it very difficult for him to kind of uh, connect with the people, the poor people he was trying to help. So he because they kind of saw him as like an outsider. So he came up with the uh, idea of making it come from within rather than kind of externally uh, trying to <laughs> influence them because they wouldn't, they couldn't kind of... The techniques he used to get his audience to really think about the issues that were going on around him and influence them to try and make a change. This book contains a very little anecdotal Ernesto awards this medal to individuals or groups in recognition of an outstanding 
substantive contribution to the arts and culture. For while in August 1997, he was also awarded a Career Achievement Award by the Association of Theatre of Higher Education at the National Conference in Chicago, Illinois. He is also believed to be the main influence behind the 21st century forms of performance activism, such as the Optative Theatrical Laboratories. This is a non hierarchical dramatic association saying is to quote, theatrically challenge hegemonic thought patterns and oppressive systems. This includes community based projects of both activist and theatrical forms, occupying a unique transformative space between two fields. Bowell also received the Cross Border Award for Peace and Democracy in 2008. Overall, Augusta Bowell has influenced artists worldwide, especially in new media, with his participatory films and expressions as he showed that the internet has become such a powerful source of participation and communication for activism in the world. But while states in his book, Legislative Theatre, at this, Hamlet says in his famous speech to the actors that theatre is a mirror in which may be seen the true image of nature of reality. I wanted to penetrate this mirror to transform the image I saw in it and to bring that transformed image back to reality, to realise that. I wanted it to 